Now here's a secret recipe to make paraffinium, you guys. If you make, if you mix silver and oxygen, oxygen is like the golden material in No Man's Sky. Silver and oxygen turn into paraffinium. Look at that. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our Expedition 3 playthrough. Oh my God, I'm gonna melt. Get back in here, get back in here. Our Expedition 3 playthrough, and we have done phase one. So if you don't know how to do your phase one, link up top and down below in the description. But we are on to phase two. So phase one, complete. Phase two, we already did our Master of Elements, which was to walk around outside during storms. And they want you to walk around for 1,500 units. So let's definitely... We got that taken care of, so we'll, let's claim that real fast. We have a powerful scanning system upgrade, supreme mining beam upgrade, and a powerful life support upgrade. Let's check those out. Oh, and they're in our, uh, in our ship right here, so let's install these. Oh man, my inventory's jacked up. Let me, uh, fix this. Give me a second. Okay, now we're looking a lot more clean. Sorry, that took a while. Okay, so let's go to our starship and let's install some of these modules. Boom. Yes. Oh, mining beam upgrade. I'll definitely take that. I like it. All right. A uh, scanner module. That way we can get more money when we scan things. And remember, we always put our uh, modules next to each other. All the upgrades that go together, always put them touching because you see that or, or the yellow uh, box around it? If you move it, there's no more yellow box. That yellow box means... They're getting a little bit of a bonus because they're next to each other. So definitely, definitely put them together. Boom, like that. Oh, yeah. Shield module. We'll put that one in there. All right. We're going to put our sack venom in here in our uh, cargo inventory. Notice that we have a lot of stuff in here. And since we're here, we have to build, we have to repair our uh, launch system, right? So if we go into our. Uh, Inventory. Our launch system needs storm crystals and a quantum computer. So we have our storm crystals. Let's insert those now. That way we're good. We don't need to collect any more storm crystals unless we want to make a lot of money. But we also we need a uh, quantum computer. And the problem is, if you press start, the way to get your quantum computer blueprint is to actually go to the next step, which is to power your uh, base that we just built. So. We need to add some power to our base. Specifically, we need 150 power. So let's go over there and get some power in our base. Where'd our base go? Oh no, now I need to find my base. My base is way over there. Oh man. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when we get there. Actually, no, 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 before we do that, let's sell some items out of our inventory since we need to make some money. So let's sell. Our fungal mold. We don't need that. We can always get more of that. Let's sell our storm crystals. We can get over a million for our storm crystals right there. And I think that's about it. We're going to need our wiring loom, so we're going to keep that for now. Let's sell the uh, crist uh, yeah, crystal flesh. That, that's what you get from uh, animals when you kill them. Mordite. Let's get rid of that. And we'll keep the rest of this. We, all, we need the rest of the stuff. So we're going to keep that. But we're also going to buy... All the ferrite dust we can get, all the cobalt we can get, all the oxygen, all the sodium, everything we can get, all the gold. We're going to buy, let's buy five more wiring loom. And let's buy ten more metal plating. We're going to need that later on, so let's grab that. And let's actually make sure all that stuff is in our inventory, our big inventory, our cargo. So there you go, boom. Wiring loom goes into the uh, exosuit high capacity and uh, we'll leave the uh, cobalt in here just because I like the cobalt being here, but you can put it wherever you want. Oh, we didn't buy any batteries or anything. Let's buy some batteries, duh. Buy batteries as much as you can and life support gel. And actually we can make, we can buy some processors. So let's buy 10 processors as much as you can. You don't have to buy that much. I like to keep all that stuff on hand because we're going to be building stuff and we're going to need this later on anyway. So put it in your um, cargo inventory 
That way you don't have to deal with it, but it's there in case you need it. So let's head on over to our uh, base. Dang it, it's far away. And also, guys, before we get too deep into it, let me tell you, while you're walking around exploring, scan everything you can because in phase three, you're gonna need to have every animal, every rock, and every plant scanned in order to go on. And so you might as well do that now. So as you're walking around, I mean, I'm talking every rock, you go in the water and scan every rock, every plant on the, on the planet's surface, everything. You need to scan everything, all right? So just keep that in mind. All right, made it to the base. Holy cow, that took a lot longer because I was stopping to scan everything. I can't tell you guys that enough. Scan everything. So we need to make a uh, construction research unit. That way we can figure out what we can make out of here. So let's make that baby. Now there's a few things you're going to want to get ahead of time. And so you want to get as much buried technology, the uh, underground technology that you can. They give you a lot, but you're going to still need a lot more. We're going to have to make a, uh, I would say, get a medium refiner. That'll help you out. That's 10. So maybe we should get some other stuff first. So let's get, um, where is it? Electrical. We need to power up our base. So we need to get our wiring, which is free. Then we need to get our uh, biofuel reactor. We're not gonna use it, but you have to buy it in order to get the things below it. So we're gonna get that one, that's one. Then we need to get a solar panel, which is eight research. And then we need to get a battery, which is three. So that equals out to what, 12? Uh, 12 of your uh, buried technologies you're gonna have to use for that specifically. All right, so we have those. You're good to go on that. I would say also, if you want to, you can come over here to the, uh, some of the more, uh, you know, you'll get the mineral extractor. Don't worry about getting that yet because they'll give it to you for free. You don't have to worry about buying that. I would recommend if you want, get a medium refiner. That'll help you out to process some materials later on, make some money and also get some stuff going that you need to get going. And I would also say get your teleport module now, if you can. This will help you out later on. And a galactic trade terminal. Again, this will give be given to you for free, but it helps you right now to get materials and get things you want to get right now. So we, we're done with all of that. Now we need to make some power. So what we need to do is, look, number one, let's put down our portable refiner right over here. Wait, wait, come on. Portable refiner. Why are you not going? Okay. I was just too close to it. Okay, that's fine. You can't be too close to it. And what we need to do is we need to put fuel in it first. And let's make sure it's a full tank. There you go. And now we need to make as much... Uh, pure magnetized ferrite as we can get. So we don't have any pure ferrite. So let's hit regular ferrite and we are going to mix that down. Now we, I don't want to take all of it. So let's actually pick up some and I'll leave 123 for myself. The rest of it I'm going to turn into pure ferrite because we're going to need magnetized ferrite and I can show you that right now. You go over to your power menu right here and to make a solar panel you need gold chromatic metal and metal plating we have all of those so let's grab that and oh i like to put mine on the roof you can put yours wherever you like i think it makes more sense to put them on the roof but you can put them however you feel now we need more gold obviously look at that because we're gonna need to build three of them but we only have so much gold so we need to actually process some gold and what I can, what I'm going to tell you, the secret is, and I learned that today. Let's stop this for now. Pure ferrite, get in the exosuit. You can actually process pearls that you find underwater. Let me see, I have two living pearls. If you process them, they will give you a hundred gold each. So definitely pick up those pearls when you're out there. There we, we just got 200 gold. Perfect. And then we need to process our pure ferrite into fer magnetized ferrite. So we have our pure ferrite here. 
We're processing it. It's going to take a little while, and we're going to get 200 magnetized ferrite. But while we're waiting, let's put up our uh, other solar panels as much as we can. We're aiming for three, and hopefully I have enough for three. Let's see. We already have one, two, and number three right here. Perfect, right? We have three solar panels. So now we need to wire them together. That way they're all sharing the same power. So connect those. Boom. Boom. Now they will make you 150 uh, power all day long, but you need to store that power because at night they make no power. So let's try to make a battery. Can we make a battery? We need magnetized ferrite and condensed carbon. We don't have either one of those. But we got our power surplus, so we're good to go, right? Let's actually collect that power surplus, powering our uh, our base right here. We're going to collect it. This will give you the quantum computer blueprint and wiring loom. So we're going to need wiring loom later on. So we are kicking butt already. So now we know how to make a, a quantum computer. We just need to make some antimatter, and we are good to go. So, let's get in here, and we need to make one quantum computer, because if you go to your starship, we only need one quantum computer, right? So we need to make one more. If you go into your build menu, that's A if you're on Xbox, or X if you're on PlayStation. Quantum computer, we need one antimatter in order to make it, so let's make some antimatter. Go down here. We need condensed carbon for that. We need a lot of condensed carbon, so let's go do that real fast. Get our pure ferrite, or magnetized ferrite, excuse me. Let's put in some, uh, let's put in some carbon. So I'm gonna put in 300 carbon, and we'll make 185 condensed carbon. There you go. Now while we're waiting, let's see if we can make our, uh, our wall kiosk. This is a shop that we can buy stuff from. Oh yeah, we only need 25 magnetized ferrite and three processors. So let's pop this baby right over here. Let's put it right there. That way, this is basically your shop. Now you can buy and sell things right here from your base. You definitely want to do this. We can get more microprocessors if we want to. Get some more life support gel, of course. Batteries are not refueled yet. But we can get some more, you know, items while we're here. Always buy all the basics as much as you can. Because those are going to be easier to get, especially... Oh, yeah, magnetized ferrite. We'll buy that. And we, you can buy chlorine. We can make a ton of money. So let's buy some chlorine. And I can show you how to do some of that later on. All right. So now we have our condensed carbon. Let's make our... Uh, let's make the antimatter what we need. And then we can make our quantum computer now. Boom. There it is. Boom. There you go. So now it's good. Oh, yeah. We have a, fra a crystal fragment. Boom. There you go. Alrighty, so we have a lot of this stuff going on right here. Oh, we have our geode. We can scan that and get some good stuff, goodies out of there. So we have all this good stuff. I like to line up all my materials. Don't judge me. I know you're judging me, but it's okay. You're allowed to judge me. It's fine. Alright, so now that we're, we're running everything pretty solidly, what is our next milestone? We can fix our ship. That's no problem. We have to run over there, but that's going to be a little bit. So what else can we do? Construct a teleporter. We got the teleporter blueprint, right? So let's see what we need for a, a teleporter. It's going to be over here. We need carbon nanotubes, metal plating 4, and sodium 40. Thankfully, we just made our kiosk. So if you need any of those, those things, you can totally buy them from there. I can totally make two more of uh, the carbon nanotubes. So boom. And now we can totally put it there. So let's pop it right in. Oh, yep. We got to back up. The placement is going to be finicky. This was this happened to me earlier. It's very finicky. And it doesn't want to work. Okay. You know, let's go outside. Let's see if we can pop it on the roof. Can we put it here? No, 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 no. Nothing, huh? I can't put it anywhere. That's great. But I can put it over here. So, you know what? We're going to have our teleporter outside. Right there. Done. Constructed a teleporter, but the problem is you need to actually power it. So let's go over to our power again And we need to connect a wire from our power our solar panels over to 
our power, our uh, teleporter. Done. So now it's powered up. So let's uh, claim our reward for our, our uh, teleporter. We get a power generation blueprint and survey device. Okay. Let's make a survey device. There you go. There we go. Yep. So now we're doing fear the sun tunnel underground for four or for a thousand units. Now, this sounds really terrible, but it's actually not. Fear the sun? This is a very easy one to get. So let's do that on our way over to... Well, wait, wait let me make sure I, I took everything out of my refiner real fast. I took everything out? Okay, good. We have all our materials. Let's go. We're going to head back to our ship. But before we do that, tunnel underground. Fear the sun? This is a very easy milestone to do. So, well, all you, all you have to do is d dig underground. And the more you dig, the more you're gonna go up. The, the issue is you think it's all with a thousand feet straight down? No, it's volume. So just dig a hole and then just start digging all around. It's the volume of what you're digging, not in a straight line. So we can knock this out really easy. Go over here. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be messing this thing up. Now let's look at our milestone. 800, we're already at 800. Look at that. And we'll just keep, you know, digging around. We're basically going to dig a big old hole. That'll make it easy for us to, uh, to get the achievement or the milestone. Easy peasy right here. Oh, man, we're, we're down here. Let's get some, uh, let's get some cobalt. Oh, we got to identify this first because you got to identify all your minerals. So go in the water, identify those minerals. Go in the cave, identify those minerals. Identify every mineral, every plant, and every animal you run into. It'll help you later on, I promise. Platinum and copper. Whoa! I'll take that, platinum and copper. I'll take that copper. I, I'll take all the copper you can give me because I'm going to need some more chromatic metal pretty soon, I can tell already. So let's keep doing all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Now... I don't want to spend too much time here because I have to go fix my ship, right? So let's dig around a little bit more because we need to get our uh, Fear the Sun milestone. There you go. Fear the Sun tunneled 1,000 units to the third. And that's what that little three means. It's the volume. It's not about a straight line or anything like that. Like I said earlier, not about a straight line at all. It's just about, hey, get 1,000 cubic feet. That's all you need. Cubic units. Got it. So now let's head over to our uh, our ship and fix it. We're going to repair it completely. Well, wait, wait, actually before, let's actually accept our... Oh, we have a personal refiner plan and it'll give us gold and a supreme mining beam upgrade. So yeah, let's pick that thing up. Personal refiner. I can make it. Yes, we're going to make that. So let's make our personal refiner because this is going to help you in the long run. Oh, yeah, we have a supreme mining beam, an S-class mining beam. Let's put that in there. Yeah, look at all that good stuff. Oh, let's move that, that bolt caster out of the way because we're going to put some more upgrades down here. And also, we can make our... Um, oh, yeah, we can make our mining laser, advanced mining laser. Let's do that right now. We can totally make that. So we're going to install it. And we have our wiring loom all ready to go, but we need to make a hermetic seal and a uh, carbon nanotube, one of each. So let's go over to our inventory and to our build menu. One carbon nanotube, got it. And then if you go down through your menu, you can see hermetic seal right here. You need 30 condensed carbon to make that. Done and done. So now we can make our advanced mining laser. And you want this because now we can mine some really hard materials later on. So... Definitely, you want to get that as early as you can, and it'll upgrade your mining beam so it lasts a little bit longer. So all good, good things. So now let's head over and fix our ship. We made it, so I always get inside because I want to make sure that I'm safe from the environment. We know it's damaged. I have the part now. I have my quantum computer. Let's put it in there. It's repaired. Awesome, right? So now we have our, uh, we should be getting our, uh, thing. Come on. Let's go. There it is. There it is. It took a second to kick in, but we got it. 
Perfect. So let's accept our reward for that. Right here. We get a galactic trade terminal plan. Supreme movement module and a significant life support upgrade. I'll take them all. We got all of that stuff. Yes. So let's get our uh, life support module right here. And we're going to pick that up and put it over here, actually. Because you want it to be next to all your other life support. There you go. Then we have our movement upgrade. That is for your jet pack. There you go. Boom. We're doing good on movement upgrades now. And we should have... Oh, that's it. All right. Let's get rid of that geode. Got it. So now our next one is to adopt a companion. This is super easy. Just go out and find a random animal. Number one, actually, first thing. You want to make a uh, tablet, a carbon tablet. So go down all the way down to the bottom. We have a creature pellet right here. It costs 60 carbon to make, but there's plenty of carbon around. So I'm going to make five of them. And then all you have to do is walk up to one of the animals and say, Hey, I have some food for you, buddy. Do you like my food? And then you can interact with them and adopt them as your companion. Or you can milk them. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to adopt them. There you go. Now he's our new pet. I am in love with it. Look at that. Long nose guy. Look at that. He's so excited. He's running around. Now we need to feed them a little bit more because he's going to be hungry and lonely. So pat him a little bit. Give him a creature pellet. That way he's full and we are good. He's a nice, happy animal now. So let's accept our reward. Uh, we need Fecium. We get Fecium and we get Gravitino balls for doing this. So definitely got to take that. And then the last step in... The, uh, oh, let me go back in my pause menu real fast. I know. Uh, the last step in this uh, phase is going to be mechanical man. You have to deploy a minotaur heavy exosuit hybrid. Now, this is going to kind of be misleading because you don't really need to do that. What you need to do is get an exocraft at all. And so you unlock that through the um, build menu as well. So we're going to have to go back to our base. But on the way there, number one, scan everything. But number two, look for buried technology. So the things that look like a Wi-Fi signal right there, that is what we're looking for. Get as much of that as you possibly can on your way. So I'm going to be getting some of this stuff, and I'll meet you guys over at the base. All right, we made it back to our base. So now we need to get the Exocraft. This is going to be how you get the Minotaur achievement or uh, milestone. I keep calling them achievements. Milestone. So head on over to the uh, Roamer page and you need four underground or salvage data buried technology to unlock it. Let's do it. So now we can make it. We just need some uh, metal plating and some paraffinium. Okay. So let's go and try to get those materials. Number one, always check your store to make sure it's not in here. We don't have any of that stuff in here, I don't think. Ferrite dust, cobalt, oxygen. Always get as much as you can. Magnetized ferrite. We don't need any trinium. We don't need that. But we're going to need some more of these metal platings. And we don't need any chlorine. All right. So we need to go find some paraffinium. Let me see, actually. Can we do it? Um, Romer Geo Bay. We need paraffinium. There you go. All right, you guys. So there's going to be a secret recipe here for you. Right now, all I want you to get is some silver. Find a silver resource and get as much silver out of it as you possibly can. And then meet me back at the base, all right? So get as much silver as you can. Go get a few resources. Get some, a couple hundred uh, silver if you can. All right, now that we're back at the base, what we're gonna do right now is we need to make a medium refiner. So let's go into our exosuit and we need to make dihydrogen jelly and we need uh, magnetized ferrite. We have enough magnetized ferrite, I think, but we need five dihydrogen jelly. That's like burned into my brain. So you're going to need two, 200 dihydrogen crystals. We have that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a medium refiner. Let's pop this baby somewhere over here. Hey, no, no, no. I went to turn. Turn. There you go. 
Dihydrogen and magnetized ferrite. You need 100 magnetized ferrite. Let's pop that down. Now, the cool thing about a medium refiner is it doesn't need any fuel at all. All you have to do is put, put it down and you're good to go. Now, here's a secret recipe to make paraffinium, you guys. If you make, if you mix silver and oxygen, oxygen is like the golden material in No Man's Sky. Silver and oxygen turn into paraffinium. Look at that. Easy peasy, right? Easy peasy. You don't need that much of it at all. So what we need to make for the, uh, the Romer Geobase, we need 50 paraffinium. So you don't even need that much. You can just like, you know, just do a little bit of paraffinium and you're good to go. Oh yeah, we're already way past what we need. So let's stop, put that in our exosuit. Put this away, put that away. That way we don't lose it. And now let's go pop down our, uh, our geo bay real fast. Oh man. All right, yeah, we're gonna fall all the way down here because um, I made my, my uh, base on top of a mountain. Let's pop it down right over here, boom. And there you go. You do not need to make a Minotaur to get your minute mechanical man achieved or milestone. All you have to do is make an exocraft, period. That's all you have to do. And so we've made it. We're good to go. So now we have an exocraft. We can totally, totally ride around in that cool thing. But let's accept our rewards real fast. Expedition. Mechanical man, we're gonna get some upgrades for the Minotaur. So that would be the reason why you want to make the Minotaur is because you get some uh, upgrades for it. So we have all those upgrades and we got a whole bunch of chromatic metal. So I like that. We don't have the Minotaur yet. So we're gonna put the upgrades in our uh, cargo upgrade, you know, cargo over there. And then let's go over and we need to accept our phase two reward which is the holographic chart projector plan, which is a base building piece. So there you go. We have that. And that is the completion of phase two, you guys. So get ready. We're going to be going to phase three. And just as a teaser, you guys, remember in phase three, you have to, you have to scan a whole bunch of rocks, a whole bunch of uh, plants and all the animals on the planet. So start scanning and we will see you guys next time.